Okay, so in the last video of this series, we're going to talk about a couple of things that students struggle with that are not completely intuitive in these mastering chemistry drawing questions. So the first one is drawing curved arrows starting from a lone pair instead of a pi bond. So to do that, we're going to start by clicking that same button, the electron flow double arrow. We're going to click on the atom with the lone pair that we want to push. That's going to zoom in to the atom. Then click again on the lone pair that you want to start your arrow from. So I'm going to start it from this top right lone pair. And hold your mouse down, click and drag, and then click on the bond that you want to form the pi bond with. Okay, the other thing that's not completely intuitive is how to map atoms. So some of the questions might want you to use atom mapping to label the carbon numbers. So let's try that with this structure right here. So we're going to click on this button down here at the bottom, the atom map button. And then we're going to click on carbon one here, and that's going to automatically label it with number one. It's going to map it as atom number one. Okay, now let's map atom two. So we're going to click on that. It's going to give it a one to start with, then click again. That'll give it a two. So basically every time you click, it's gonna increase that number by one. Okay, so let's go ahead and map this next one as atom three. So as your chain grows, you don't wanna to have to click 100 times. So what you can do here is just double click on the atom and it's gonna bring up a dialog box and you can just type in which atom number you want there. The other thing you can do, and this is handy if you make a mistake, like if you click too many times, you can right click on the atom choose atom properties, and then from there you can type in which map number you want. So you might have to unlock that first, then type in four for carbon four, and click okay. 